how people kind of take advantage of the fact that uh, they don't know, that someone else doesn't know. And it's like, they could fake it as, as amazingly as possible. And no one's going to know that they don't know or how it might not actually work this way. And that's just a thing that is with kids as well. It's, they they they're so vulnerable and like they don't have any knowledge and then someone's going to take advantage of that fact and just I don't know I I I kind of lost my thought in the middle of that but it, it's more along the lines of like you're not going to know what you're doing but someone can just pretend that they do know and then take yeah advantage if you of that can fact. sound believable yeah. If, if, I, you can I get you. Your, if you can bullshit your way through a conversation, anyone can believe it. Yeah. Might have gone the internet. How many brothers are getting you? The best keymaker in Utopia. I can't stop worrying about it. I'm counting on you. Just overall, that class is my nightmare. Oh, yeah. I, I, I got back to it. I, I, I remember what I was going to get to now. Because it's like. It takes advantage. Your your naivety is so high, and you you're learning stuff, and people are going to take advantage of that fact to be able to plant seeds of like, oh, for instance, whenever I was younger, I didn't realize what made a like a bad video game a bad bad video game, but I learned in the future about that. You can't just because jump. I learned. I just learned what bad design was, and like, oh, this wasn't hard. This was just a fucking glitch. For instance, like Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2 had a lot of like weird shit with it, but as a younger kid, I just thought that it was just a harder game. But no, it was just because it was riddled with glitches and it was just a poorly made game. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love it, but I now recognize that it was a lot worse of a game than I initially thought it was. And the same could be said about other things. It's like, whenever you're being like, raised you're taught like a bunch of different things or like this is this is the way this is how everything's going to work and then once you get out in the real world world you learn it's not at all how it works people just took advantage of your naivety to tell you how something was going to work yeah it's it's real sad that this shit is unfiltered unchecked and everything like that it oh man it's just it has to do it it's a big part it has to do with grooming as well or how grooming functions Yeah. And it's unfortunate, because these kids are in their most vulnerable points of their life, and people are taking advantage of that in order to uh, give themselves some sort of weird, twisted advantage, or teach them a bad habit that allows them to manipulate them in the future or something. Yeah. I, I, um, I just, in general, kind of hate teachers. Damn. I mean, it's like, a necessary rule, but... I I respect teachers, right? Yeah. But I also despise teachers because of the fact that... Hey, no one is there to, like, check you. Um, yeah, there, there's no... We can just say whatever we want. We can tell your kids to essentially go kill themselves. And my word is kind of law because I'm protected by the teacher union. Yeah, and then on top of that, um, we've know. had teachers at my school hit kids, and like not enough to like bruise them, but to like be like, "Oh shit, what the fuck," or just call them like the worst things in the world and make them break down crying, and then you know, scar them for life about teachers. And they have kept their jobs because of their contracts and stuff. And again, like no physical proof. There's no. No cameras in the classroom. No one ever sits in. And when they sit in, it's like, oh, hey, this guy's here. I can't exactly hit the kid in front of him. And I'll actually teach. Yeah, the, the fucked up thing is they... Uh, kids aren't taught that they have rights as equal as adults do. Oh, yeah, no, because you get talked down to. Like, how dare you? Well, it also has to do with the fact that, like, uh, 
unless you're 18, you're counted effectively as just sub. Yeah, and even then, it's not till around 21 you're not. Because it's like, you don't know what you're talking about. You're a kid, you don't have the experience, you're too young. And that's such a toxic mentality, too. Because it pisses me off, because it's like, you'll get those people where it's like, oh, I've been here longer than you, I have more experience, which means I know what I'm talking about and you don't. It's like, no, that isn't at all what it means. In fact, there's yeah. plenty of times where those people have been proven horribly wrong. Oh, dude, I've been humbled by kids half my age who know more than me in certain subjects. So I, I don't necessarily judge anyone by age. It bugs me, and I might have a slight attitude. But I still respect them enough to, like, still be polite enough that I'm not going to be like, you are. You don't tell me what this is and i'm just i'm just there vibing most of the time because again they're smart they know this i'm learning from them at this point yeah and there's a kid th who should have been three grades under me that graduated with my class and i had him in my grade the kid is a fucking genius and also funny as hell yeah one of my uh one of the things that i really appreciate as like a you break the essay says then you to do something about it. Thanks. Uh, there's there's a saying that I I don't remember. If it's like a saying per se, but uh, it's like smart and uh, what was it? Smart and clever. Smart and clever are two different things. Smart, you're smart if you listen to the advice of other people to advance your knowledge. You're clever if you figure it out on your own. And a lot of people like to think that they're clever because they can figure it out on their own, but they're not. And they refuse to be smart because they won't listen to other people's advice on how things could and should work. Yeah. And it's it's the people who refuse to be smart that usually end up causing the problems because they want to believe that they're perfect and they're clever, when in reality they're no more special than anyone else. And they have, like, they nothing up, to go on. Yeah, and then they end up taking that to the extreme point where now you've got this person who's just out of fucking control, like the teachers beating the kids in your school. It's like, oh, I'm. Oh, I bet it's just not my school. Like, I mean, oh, yeah. we have cops just, in schools now, essentially suplexing kids. And if it wasn't for videos of the kids. And the cops, like, being upset, like, why are you videotaping me and all that? We wouldn't know, like, this shit's happening. Exactly. It's just a system of abuse that goes into every aspect of life, which is sad. And now that we've got the better technology to be able to record this stuff, I'm happy because it's like... I can't imagine having a kid go into a, a situation like that. Oh, yeah. If, it's like... Because I actually want kids. I'm kind of wants and doesn't want kids because, you know, she's the one who'd be carrying life and stuff um we've had in-depth talks about this but like one talk we haven't had is about school i will communicate to hell and back with this kid i will be like hey man how's it going in school what are you learning about how's your teachers and stuff and the moment he tells me a kid has been hit by a teacher i don't care if it's my kid i'm going to hunt this teacher down because yeah. of the fact of I've seen this shit happen in school and at that point in my life I feel that teacher, you know, shouldn't be hitting a kid. Yeah, like those bastards are supposed to be influencing the kids to be a better them for the future and not yeah. literally tearing them down. Yeah, but it's just doesn't happen. <sighs> Yeah. And also, uh, the crazy thing I'm finding is, oh, hey, you know, there's a shortage of teachers. No one wants to be a teacher. No one wants to work. That's a different talk. So, obviously, we're just going to hire retired veterans and uh, cops who don't know anything, and we'll just have them teach for the textbooks. They don't have uh, any qualifications other than they, for some reason or another, aren't working. And we just, we need them to teach your kids. Do I have a say in this? No. Um, okay. Um, why couldn't I actually volunteer to teach my kids? Well, because these guys are going to be paid by the state. 
and they're reliable they're law enforcement okay but aren't there cops in schools currently that are suplexing kids and also tasing kids for fun but not saving them from school shootings yes but that's besides the point yeah it's it's all for a power trip and because i mean it's a kid what are they going to do against you they can't fight back at least not physically and that's why mm -hmm. i want to be able to teach like my kids that don't take shit from anyone if you're being given shit, get evidence. Mm -hmm. Because trust me, if I find out that someone's giving my kid hell, there will be hell in return. And I would trust my child to the grave. Granted, I won't like throw like reason to the wind or anything like that. I'll. I'll you'll be slightly way. biased, but you'll still yeah. look for the answer. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll, I'll need physical proof, but... Motherfucker. But if they I'm leave physical lag. proof... Yeah. Like... I'd I'll... probably go to jail for my kid very easily. Oh, definitely. Well, hmm. Just the idea of someone, like, hitting a kid. Just... File. Fucking... It... it... Yeah, it boils my blood to the next level. It's just... Disgusting. I, and then, you know the thing about... I, I feel like I'm kind of a lucky generation. Mine didn't really have to deal with too much of the insane teachers and shit. My sister, though, like, the shit she tells me and that was normal in her thing, it's like... No, no, you you think of, like, the shit that happened in the 80s of the teachers basically psychologically torturing kids and just telling them that they should go kill themselves. You're not going to accomplish anything. Why are you in my class? Causing delinquents of the generation. Just makes me sit here like, wow, I I had a good time. Yeah, like, these these are the people who are impressionable. And whenever you tell them that kind of shit, they take it to heart. Mm -hmm. I was like, maybe if someone had made the conscious choice without having to be influenced like that to do that, maybe I can understand berating them. Like, someone's trying to steal your shit. Like, yeah, sure, they're, they're in the wrong by all means, but this is a kid. They don't know any better. You have to teach them. You don't have to fucking abuse them. Yeah. Because it's just a complete wrong fucking thing to do. Yeah. Do you have any horror stories like that? No, uh, fortunately, I'm really lucky. Mm. I had a, um, the only one I can really say is, like, you know, just bad teachers and stuff, but as my, um, choir teacher, um, when I took chorus, um, I shouldn't call it choir, but my chorus teacher did actually talk so much smack to one of my sister's friends and and this teacher is kind of like fat uh white woman who just like you know verbally abuses people but to berate a kid for not being able to raise enough money to go on a field trip and you know you're constantly ruining everyone else's field trips because you're doing you're you're doing the easiest field trip constantly stuff not making any clubs easily able to like hey andy's candies can you please let me have some candy they'll take half the profit you'll take half the profit and it's just her kind of monopolizing the situation is so bad and she's just yelling at this teacher i live in a small fucking town who isn't able to drive to this little candy store and get their own candy. It it's it, it, it pisses me off. She she's like making this girl cry in front of the class. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah, man fucking Well, I shouldn't say little, I guess. Teachers I, there's it's very rare that a teacher isn't a piece of shit and i feel blessed that there there were some shitty teachers that i had but they were never like abusive like that no yeah. actually i can't say that there was there i had my one of my art teachers in middle school was a shitter 
Like, there was a time where I was, like, sneezing, and she started yelling at me for disrupting the class, and it's like, bitch, fucking dust your room. I can't help that I'm fucking sneezing. Hello? At least it's better than live cockroaches and shit like that. Or the rats that were at Triangle Tech. The rats. They come at night. Rats, rats, we are the rats. We stalk at night. Da, 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 da. I'm afraid of uh, Magnet Man again. Sorry, the fuck? I said I'm afraid of Magnet Man. Oh, I wasn't talking about that. I heard that one perfectly clear, but I was on a side of a little ice area, and the, gra gr the ground collapsed out under me, and I ended up in a new area. I didn't know that was a thing. Bro's been looking for me. He worries too much. Hey, do me a favor. Go back to where he is and tell him I'll be all right. He's looking for a way to break this ice. Hey, you're looking for a way to break the ice, too? I'm the key maker, and even I can't figure it out. I know we need three blue frags in order to destroy it, but I don't know where they are. And that's where it stands at the moment. Just tell him I'll be alright and I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. I can actually go back to my net now that I opened up the warp system. Okay, this might be stupid and maybe I don't understand it about Mega Man, but... So if you're able to jack out and you just teleport out, essentially, and then you can just jack him in, and you always start at the same destination, don't you find that weird that you can teleport out from any area, but you always start in the same? Not really. It's because, I, I mean, whenever you uh, enter your house, you're not going to enter a random room. It's going to be the same each time. Yeah, but I can't leave my house without going through the front door, and you're just able to. Well, in this case, I mean, it's just like pulling a USB out. When you pull it out, no matter where at your mouse is on the screen, it disappears. Or, uh, its access gets revoked, I guess. That's an easier way of saying it. Where am I going? Am I going to... Natopia 2? Now, you remember how I said this is the worst scenario in the game? This is why... Yeah, I, I feel real bad, like, ever since you said, like, oh, blah, 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 this is, I fucked up, and I'm just like, ah, oh, it can't be that bad. I, I, I completely take back what I was thinking. Yeah, no, I, it was because I wanted to farm chips, but then I realized, oh, man, I literally locked the, uh, the net off. I don't know if I'm even going the right way right now. I sure am not. I don't even know if it's worth trying to walk back, but I'm just gonna do it. Oh, there's a red ice there. Okay. What were we talking about before? school yeah ever since like that that conversation has got me cooling down i'm it was a little yeah. hot for that no trust me i i feel pretty similar passionate about that yeah it's raul speaker yeah because it's like you're literally betraying these very impressionable young people and yeah giving them the trauma that they're gonna have to process in their future because the people who are supposed to be guiding them are instead putting them down and making it so that they can't like learn properly in the future or making them think gaslighting them into making them think that they're worse than they are or just not yeah. probably uh you know correcting them and uh it's a shame how is my brother? Is he safe? Woo, I'm relieved. Thanks for finding him. This is a gift for you. Blue frag, eh? Oh, how convenient. That guy said we needed a blue frag. Where is the rest of the blue frag? Uh, good question, Lan. You know, we're looking for that. Blue frag. I, I, I did a while going back, or I did a 
I did good going back and forth. After getting the first one, go to Undernet 3. I think staying at uh, Marine Harbor is actually better, now that I think about it, because I can... Uh, what's it called? Not have to worry about encounters. Yeah, motherfucker. I keep forgetting. I'm not in net air, net square. I'm in den square. This is a question. Um, Natalie finished nursing school too, right? Mm-hmm. A while ago, yeah. Okay, I was just curious because I was wondering how her schooling went. Um, average, you know shitty teacher that was too critical for no reason beyond trying to justify her pay and uh, various things it's like you could be perfect but she will find something to make sure that you're not perfect yeah and you could probably have another teacher grade your stuff but at the same time this teacher will give you hell that's another thing. Those kind of those kind of people that do that too, is what gives people a fucking uh, perfectionist complex. It's like it has to be the most optimized perfection, or else you're not gonna get a good grade on it, or it's gonna be considered shit. That's also another thing. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things. Thinking about psychology is interesting to me. Because uh, I like thinking about what causes the human brain to decide, cer make certain decisions, and like, honestly, a lot of it comes from school and what teachers are allowed to get away with. Hmm. Because it's like it's such a different kind of trauma from something like I don't know, just like the average ones that you have are like severe traumas. That I don't really want to get too in depth into on a video like this. Yeah. I mean, I feel like a good portion of this is probably getting cut. Uh, there's it's potential. Especially the parts where I just start like mindlessly rambling because I'm like half focused on where I'm trying to go and also half focused on trying not to be, not trying to die from being uh under the weather. Yeah, but I feel like don't it's die. Some point, I feel like, no. I'm. It's fine. It's just my. It's a, just a really shitty sore throat. I mean, but I feel like at some point I I did get like my my thought out properly enough in the middle in the midst of that rambling. Yeah. Your microphone's really sensitive today. You heard that duck quack? Yep. I've uh, also been hearing your chair squeaking like a motherfucker. Wow, yeah. Hold on, let me, um... Brother, I'm... S I'm still weak to elect. No, I wanted that extra 30. If I go into user settings... If I just turn this down just a little bit to like we'll say 90. Hey, if he's a homie, he maglines top to bottom. Okay, I really have to try, but is that better? I know I'm a little quieter. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I could still hear your chair. Could. CD, okay, and you know. Let's open the folder. This man's actually kind of a homie in this fight. Yeah. To be fair, I just think I need a uh, 
better chair in general, but, you know, the $45 chair has been lasting quite a long time. Alright, what am I working with here? Not really anything. No way, dude! I can't believe that. That was counted, that it was still on screen. I don't know, uh. man. I spent so long in that battle, mildly disoriented. You're just thinking about magnets now. Yeah. Got you a little polarized on your stuff, I'm guessing. No! I hadn't saved since then? Alright, um... You wanna have a whole nother discussion? <sighs> I can't fucking believe this, dude. No, I'm just turning fucking Buster Max on. I don't care anymore. This game is garbage. <laughs> I hate BN2. I didn't know you can turn Buster Max on yet. Yeah, you could turn it on as soon as you fucking launch the game. <laughs> you could have not even touched a single one of the battle networks yet, and you can just turn it on. I'm just fucking salty right now and I don't want to do all of this over again because it already took me long enough as it is just to figure out where the hell I'm going navigating these maps and now I have to fucking do it all over again because Magnet Man appeared and I apparently didn't save even though I swear every fucking time every like 10 seconds I save if I see Magnet Man again I'm fucking roasting his goddamn nuts on an open fire because, hmm. like, I wanted to beat the V3s naturally first before I let myself use Buster Max to just cheese them. <sighs> but if it's going to cost me fucking 10, 15 minutes of time every single time he comes... And you're counting them at a rapid rate. Yeah, it's a lot more frequent than uh, the rates in BN1. Because BN1 literally just added them as an extra encounter. but a single extra encounter. Whereas each of the, uh, I'm, I think at least, each of the viruses that are there, there's like a bunch of different virus loadouts. <laughs> and uh, each one feels like it has more than one loadout. Or more than, yeah, there's, like each each loadout has more than one like chance to spawn. But the vir the uh, the navi ghosts only have one slot instead of multiple. Which is why usually it's better to get the navi ghosts in the pool as soon as possible, so that while you're going through the main game, you can just get them naturally, yeah. maybe. But in this while case, it's done nothing but lose me like an hour's worth of time. Yeah. Why are you traversing? Alright. We'll go pee. Alright, sounds good. 